Okay, getting my screen set up. Hello everyone, it's me, it's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class, yay! Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. If you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. Samuel says yes, thank you, Samuel. Marion, hello. Raman, hello, thank you for the yes. Helga is here. All right, Helga, thank you for the yes. <coughs> Mary, <coughs> sorry, sorry. Marion is here. Thank you, Marion, for the yes. Lydia, hello, thank you. Carlos, hello. Saima, hello. Good, good, good. Gosh, thank you. Okay, Kayleen is here. All right, good. Well, um, Delia, hello, thank you for that. Thank you for your yes. Learner is here, all right. Air Lady, thank you for the yes. Good, good, good. Aye, hello, good. Dummy, hello, okay, great. Well, we have a great group as always, and um, what we always do, we always have a toast for good luck. Yes, we start with a toast for good luck. Let's go ahead and do that. So whatever you're drinking, pick it up. I have my tumbler. It's filled with coffee and we will have two toasts. Yes, two toasts. Our first toast will be for the green team. <coughs> you see them. Their names are in green. They support me. They support the channel. By supporting me and the channel, they are supporting everyone. So let's give the green team a big thank you. Cheers. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump, bump, cheers, bump, cheers. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. So bottoms up. Ah, feels good. <laughs> Our second toast, it's for you. Yes, without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, informative, and productive lesson today. Cheers, bump, cheers, bump. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink, so bottoms up. Mmm. Okay, good, good, good. Now we are guaranteed to have good luck today. Yes, we are. Sylvia, hello, good, good. Babbitt, hello. Luisa, thank you for being here. Okay, great, great, great. I'm happy to see you all. Carlos has a beer. Cheers, buddy. Okay, um, let's talk about today's lesson plan, shall we? And here it is. We have one, two, three, four. We have five activities today. We're going to do form a sentence. We are going to do a conversation from my book, 50 Very Short Conversations, book number two. Then we are going to review a worksheet we did yesterday, right there. After that, we are going to do grammar wheel. We haven't done this in a long time. We haven't done the grammar wheel in a long time. <coughs> and the grammar wheel has conjunctions or connectors, and then we have a worksheet about the idiom get out. Well, sentences using the idiom get out, and the example sentences were done by the green team. So we will look at the green team's sentences, and then you will write sentences based on the idiom, and you have the green team's sentences as in a base, you know, examples, so then you can make your own sentences. Okay, so let's get right to it. This is form a sentence. Got my pen right here. And here we go. <laughs> Activity number one, form a sentence. Okay, and here it is. All, most, 
a lot, half, some, none, okay, and then of, my, friends. Okay, and then you are going to write your own sentence, okay? Or like your own, um, your experience, right? So for example, all of my friends, uh, let's see, okay, all of my friends <laughs> like sushi, I don't know, for example, all of my friends like sushi, or we could go, most of my friends like sushi. A lot of my friends like sushi. How about, um, uh, let's see, half of my friends play sports. Uh, we can go, oh, a lot of my friends teach English. Okay, so whatever, you know, you make your own sentence. And you could use any of these um, choices, right? All, that would be like 100%. So here we look at, we go 100% here. And then we go 0%, yeah? And then right up and down, up and down. So, <clears throat> right, all your friends, that's 100% of your friends, none of your friends, that's 0% of your friends, and then, um, and it goes here, like most of my friends. That could be like maybe 80%. A lot of my friends, let's say that would be 60%. Half of my friends, 50%. Some of my friends, let's say 30%. So it, it's, it, it's not exact. <clears throat> okay, let me look at the chat to see your sentences. Okay, let's see. I don't see any. Saima, thank you very much. Okay, Helga. Okay, good. Helga, I see Helga. All of my friends are polite. Oh, that's very good. So, Helga, all of my friends are polite. That's good. <laughs> that's good. We, we don't want rude friends. No, that's not good. It's not good to have rude friends. <clears throat> we want all our friends to be polite. Okay, Mercy. Most of my friends live in Ecuador. All right, nice. Ricardo, hello. Oh no, Umesh, all of my friends are kind of mad. <laughs> A little mad in the head. <laughs> or angry. Um, Air Lady, most of my friends play soccer. Good, good, good. So, um, Air Lady, we don't have ING here. Just play, okay? So, one more time, Air Lady. Most of my friends play soccer. So, we're just using the present tense. We're just, we're, we're not using, you know, it's not happening now. It's just, it's a statement. There's no action, it's just a statement. Okay, Helga, all of my friends can cook Ukrainian food. Nice. Carlos, most of my friends work in construction. Good, senten good sentences, everyone. Isa, most of my friends are amazing. Nice sentences, everyone. Hello, S. Mercy, I'll buy half of that class. Jeez. <laughs> Mercy, I don't understand. Here's our pattern right here. Uh, let's see, Umesh. No, Umesh, no. I'm not going to even say that. That's not true. Helga, most of my friends like animals. Good. Blue sky, most of my friends are married. Okay, so we need a verb here. And are, that's your be verb. And so we want that for your sentence, are married. Okay, blue sky, most of my friends are married. So we need, we need 
uh, verbs here. We like, play, teach, are. Oh, Isa, none of my friends are selfish. Okay, so friends, right? So we need are selfish, friends. So here, friends. So we're using a group of people, a number of people. Okay, there you go, air lady. Most of my friends play soccer, perfect. You're welcome. Umesh, a lot of my friends are owners of cars. Okay, so are owners of cars. So we need um, the, the S for cars. Samuel, most of my friends <clears throat> are interested in Persian kebab. Yeah, I like kebab. I like it. It's very delicious. Like a sandwich. It's like a... a, a Eastern, Middle Eastern sandwich, I guess. Okay, Raman, all of my cookies are gone. Oh no! <laughs> nice one, Raman, I like it. All of my cookies are gone. Oh no, <laughs> I like it, I like it. Marion, some of my friends are young. Okay, Luisa, most of my friends are singing. Okay, how about um, Luisa, we don't want are singing that's like happening now and so here we're just uh, making statements and so we're not using um, the verb we want just to be uh, stative not action so perhaps you should say Luisa uh, most of my friends can sing most of my friends can sing how about can sing well how about that um, most of my friends can sing well. Yeah, okay. Can sing <clears throat> well. Most of my friends can sing well. <clears throat> okay. Um, blues, okay, let's see. Okay, S. Most of my friends are happy, nice. Carlos, half of my friends live in Mexico. Kadeem, some of my friends are funny. Blue Sky, all of my friends don't drink. Umesh, most of my friends are businessmen. Mercy, none of my friends want to come to my house today. <laughs> oh no. Um, let, let, let's see, S. Most of my friends like to eat different kinds of food. Nice. Okay, Hanan. Um, Morocco's in the house. Hello, Hanan. Helga, half of my friends like sports. Raman, most of my friends live near my home. So we don't need at. Most of my friends live near my home. Okay, Umesh. Most of my friends are businessmen, although they have a degree. Yeah, and uh, all of my friends <clears throat> are musicians. Okay, Helga, uh, some of my friends drink beer. Katie, most of my friends have a pet. Okay, yep, yeah, Hanen, I see you, and thank you for being here with us. Mercy, a lot of my friends can drive. Marion, most of my friends know how to swim. Good, Umesh. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, some of my friends to, like to travel. How about that? Um, some of my friends like to travel. Helga, none of my friends smoke. Some of my friends are from my childhood. Okay, good. Uh, some of my friends are from my childhood. Raman, half of, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, uh, Mercy, most of my friends want to travel to Europe. Yeah, Air Lady, I don't know. I haven't heard from Fabricio. I know. 
Yeah, maybe he's busy. Sometimes people, um, Air Lady, so Fabrizio is part of our green team. He used to always be here. And lately, he has not. So perhaps he's, he's busy. That happens. So um, pe people, you know, schedules change, perhaps. People change jobs. And, and, and so people's schedules change. So perhaps Fabrizio is busy or his schedule has changed. But yeah, we miss Fabrizio. For sure. Fabrizio, we miss you, buddy. Okay. Good sentences, everyone. I have to look at the clock. We got to change activities. We will review this again. We always do that. I give you a, a pattern. We practice and then we follow up the next day or the next week and do it again for review, right? So, uh, the best way to learn English is to practice, yes. <laughs> That's the only way to learn. We have to practice to learn. Okay, so let's go ahead and change activities. Activity number two is a conversation from my book right here. And so let's put it on the board here. We're gonna uh, practice the conversation. So I'm gonna write number two. Conversation. Okay. And the conversation is from my book. This is the last conversation in the book, in book number two. So next week we will start with the yellow book. This is book number three. But um, so let's go ahead and do it. This is conversation. 50 everyone this is 50 and uh, first I will uh, say the conversation I will read the conversation so listen carefully and then I will write the conversation on the board and we will practice the conversation together we will practice pronunciation we will go fast and slow we will talk about the meaning and then we will do it together we will be the conversation okay so there's about four steps one two three four okay so step one i'm gonna go ahead and read the conversation please listen and then i will write it on the board okay here we go <clears throat> let's have a swim how is the water it feels great i don't want to get my hair wet come on It'll be good. All right. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. We like to do it three times. So this is the second time. Let's have a swim. How is the water? It feels great. I don't want to get my hair wet. Come on. It'll be good. All right. <laughs> okay, here we go. <clears throat> The third time and then I will write it on the board and we will practice it. <clears throat> Let's have a swim. How is the water? It feels great. I don't want to get my hair wet. Come on. It'll be good. All right. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to, whoa, I dropped the, I dropped the book. <laughs> Okay, and I will show you the picture and then I will write it on the board. There it is, the last conversation. Let's have a swim. How is the water? And then it, it continues down here, okay? So I will write it on the board and we will practice it together. Here we go. <clears throat> Okay, A says, let's have a swim. Let's have a swim. Let's have a swim. Let's have a swim. B says, how is the water? How is the water. 
How is the water? How is the water? How is the water? Let's have a swim. How is the water? A says, it feels great. It feels great. <clears throat> it feels great. It feels great. It feels great. Let's have a swim. How is the water? It feels great. B says, <clears throat> I don't want to get my hair wet. 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 Let's have a swim. How's the water? It feels great. I don't want to get my hair wet. A says, come on, it'll be good. Come on. It'll be good. Okay. Come on, it'll be good. Come on, it'll be good. Come on, it'll be good. Let's have a swim. How is the water? It feels great. I don't want to get my hair wet. Come on, it'll be good. And then B says, all right. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's have a swim. How's the water? It feels great. I don't want to get my hair wet. Come on. It'll be good. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Um, let's talk about the meaning of the conversation. We'll look at each sentence and talk about the meaning. Let's have a swim. So let's, meaning let us, right? So there's a group or you, you and I, let's have a swim. Now, have a swim, that is a have expression. So we have have lunch, have a meal, um, have a drive, have a walk. And so we're using a have expression, have a swim. And so let's have a swim. So let us do it. Let us, right? What do you think? Um, I think we should do it. So let's do something together. And in this situation, let's swim together. Let's go into the pool. Let's have a swim. How is the water? Now, um, how? So you're asking about the, the um, in this situation, how's the water? How's the temperature? Is it cold? Is it warm, right? Is it, how's the temperature of the water? How does it feel, right? If I go in the pool, is it gonna be cold? Is it gonna feel, you know, how, how will it feel? So I'm asking, how's the water? Is it cold? Is it warm? So I'm asking about the temperature. How is the water? And then B says, it feels great. So if you go into the pool, if you go in the water, you will feel good. It will feel good on your body. It will feel good on your skin. You will enjoy it. You will be happy, okay? It feels great. And then B says, I don't want to get my hair wet. No, right? And so maybe, um, and maybe this is for a woman, right? Because men, their hair isn't as complicated, right? So maybe some women, they have long hair and it takes them a long time to get their hair dry or they went to the beauty salon and they have a, you know, a, a certain hairstyle. Maybe there's a hairspray in their, in their hair and 
they don't want to get their hair wet. And so A says, I don't want to get my hair wet. Maybe A went to the beauty salon. Maybe A doesn't want to spend the time to get her hair dry. Okay, so she doesn't want to get her hair wet. And then A says, come on, it'll be good. So don't worry about your hair. Come on, you'll like it. If you go in the pool, you will like it. You'll be happy. So don't worry about your hair. Come on, it'll be good for you. You'll feel happy. You will feel good. And then B says, all right. All right means I'll do it. Yes, all right. Maybe you're not super excited about it, but you go, all right, I will do it, all right? If you were super excited, you go, okay, yes, yes, yes. But all right is not as strong, okay? So, so here you have all, that's strong, right? All your friends. And, and so all right is kind of like in the middle here. So all right, I'm not super happy, but I will do it. Okay, all right. So um, yeah, okay. So let's go over the, the pronunciation. We will go slowly and quickly, all right? So let's do it together. Let's say the sentences slowly and quickly. Here we go. Let's have a swim. Let's have a swim. Let's have a swim. Now we'll go fast. Let's have a swim. Let's have a swim. Let's have a swim. Let's have a swim. How's the water? 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 It feels great. 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 I don't want to get my hair wet. 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 Come on, it will be good. Come on, it will be good. Come on, it will be good. Come on, it'll 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 be good. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> okay, okay, good, good, good. Now, okay, we, we talked about the meaning. We went slowly and quickly. We practiced the pronunciation. Now it's time to be the conversation. Let's be A and B. Let's role play. I will be A and you will be B. A, B, A, B. I will say A. You will say B. Okay, so <clears throat> here we go. I'm A, you are B. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's have a swim. It feels great. Come on, it'll be good. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, one more time. We're gonna do it three times. This is the second time I'm A, you are B. Countdown, five, four, three, two, one. Let's have a swim. It feels great. Come on, it'll be good. Yes. <laughs> okay. One more time. This is the third time. I am A, U, R, B. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's have a swim. It feels great. Come on. It'll be good. <laughs> Let's get in. Let's do it. All right. Now it's time to switch. Yeah. You are A, I am B. A, B, A, B. You start, you are A. Here we go, countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, go. How's the water? I don't want to get my hair wet. <laughs> All right. 
Okay, here we go. Second time, you are A, I, M, B. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, go. How's the water? I don't want to get my hair wet. All right. <laughs> here we go. Third time's the charm. You are A, I, M, B. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, go. How's the water? I don't want to get my hair wet. All right. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was the conversation. And um, right here, there's some have expressions. Yeah, so um, I will read some ha have expressions. Okay, so please repeat after me. Here we go. <clears throat> have fun. Have fun. Have fun. One more time. Have fun. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend. Have a holiday. Have a holiday. Have a holiday. Have a drink. Have a drink. Okay. Have a drink. Cheers. Okay, um, have a meal, have a meal, have a meal. Have a snack, have a snack, have a snack. Have a party, have a party, have a party. Have a break, have a break, have a break. Have a bath. Have a bath. Have a bath. Have a walk. Have a walk. Have a walk. Have a chat. Have a chat. Have a chat. Okay. Um, let's use let. Okay. So let's do it together. Let's use let's. Okay. So one more time. And we're going to use let. Okay. With the have. Let's have fun. Let's have fun. Let's have fun. Uh, let's have a nice weekend. <laughs> that's, that, that's a little strange. Let's have a nice, that's more like, um, you know, like a, a goodbye. Have a nice weekend. See you next week. Or, you know, like you're at work and it's Friday and you say to your coworkers, have a nice weekend. Have fun. So, that doesn't work. Let's have a nice weekend is strange. Uh, let's have a holiday. Okay. So let's have a holiday together. How about that? That's a good one. Let's have a holiday together. Let's have a holiday together. Let's have a holiday together. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's have a drink. Let's have a drink. Let's have a drink. We could make it a little longer sentence. How about Let's have a drink this weekend. Let's have a drink this weekend. Let's have a drink this weekend. One more time. Let's have a drink this weekend. Okay. Let's have a meal. Okay. How about, um, let, let's, so a meal would be breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So let's make it more specific. So let's, let's say, let's have lunch together. Let's have lunch together. Let's have lunch together. Let's have lunch together. Um, have a snack. Okay, that, that, that works, right? Um, let's have a snack, right? Let's say we are um, watching TV together. Oh, let's have a snack. Let's have a snack. Let's have a snack. Um, let's have a party. Okay, so let... Um, for example, it's our friend's birthday this weekend. It's our friend's birthday this weekend. So I have a good idea. Let's have a party for George. Let's have a party for George. Let's have a party for George. <laughs> um, have a break. Yeah, so for example, we are painting a house. We are painting a house, we're painting a house, and then we say, oh, let's have a break. 
Let's have a break. Let's have a break. Ah, oh, that's a good idea. Um, let's have a bath. That's strange, right? Because you take a bath by yourself, right? So one person. So let's don't use let's for a bath. No, no, no. So let's have a bath. That's strange. Um, let's have a walk. That's good, right? So let's say we just ate dinner, right? Oh, I'm full. We had a big dinner. Let's have a walk. We had a big dinner. Let's have a walk. We had a big dinner. Let's have a walk. And then um, have a chat, right? Talk together. So um, let's have a chat this weekend, all right? Let's have a chat this weekend. Let's have a chat this weekend. Let's have a chat this weekend. Okay, good, good. So here we can, in the book, there are some examples here. Have expressions, yes. Okay, well, guess what? We, we did the book. Yeah, that was 50 very short conversations. So, yeah, there we did it. 50 very short conversations. Book two, and um, there are three books, blue, red, and yellow, and they are at Amazon.com. The link is in the descriptions. I also have a which one is different book that's also at Amazon. So there are four books and um, okay, so good job everyone. Please get your own book. Yes, amazon.com, that would be great. Okay, it's time to go to our next activity, all right? So our next activity is a worksheet. We did this yesterday, so let's review it today. Um, Marion says, let's, let's buy some lottery tickets. Okay, Marion, let's buy some lottery tickets. Okay, let me look at the chat here. You guys had um, some other let's uh, um, expression. Samuel, let's have a bottle of beer. S, let's have lunch together. Uh, Isa, let's have a drink. Arts, let's have lunch together. S, let's have a New Year party. Good. Matsura, hello. Uh, let's have a. F okay, let's be friends. Let's have a. Let's have a friend. Th that's uh, Matsura. That sounds a little strange. Let's have a friend. Um, let's have our friends over. Let's have our friends over for a drink. Let's have our friends over for a party. Let's see. Arts, let's have a party for... Okay, let's have a work party. Arts, here we go. Let's have a work party. Let's have a work party. Okay, let's have a musical break. <laughs> All right, Katie, let's have fun. Yes, let's do it. Let's have a chat this weekend, says As. Let's have fireworks, says Carlos. Saima, um, oh, you need the book. Saima, Amazon.com. Check it out. Enter my, go to Amazon.com, put in Mark Kulik right there, and you will see the books. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> um, Let's have a swim, Marion, let's have, okay, let's buy some lottery tickets. Luisa, let's have a fun class. There you go, Marion, let's buy some lottery tickets. Let's have lunch together, let's have a coffee. Let's have, let's, let's have a countdown for 2023 together. Matza, let's have a, mo let's, Let's see a movie. We don't say let's have a movie, uh, Matsura. We don't say that. We, we say let's see a movie. Harry, how are you, Harry? Long time no see. Let's have a race. Okay, Harry. Cheers, Harry. How are you doing? Haven't seen you for a while. I'm glad you're back. Let's buy some pickles. <laughs> okay, let's do the worksheet. Yeah, here it is. And support me on Patreon, and you get all the worksheets we do in the live stream classes. All the worksheets are on my Patreon. Support me on Patreon and get 
the worksheets. Yeah, so buy the books and support me on Patreon for all the worksheets and there's a lot of English practice for you, yes. Lots of self-study. Anyways, let's have a look at the worksheet. I'm gonna put it on the screen so you can see it and then make sentences in the chat. Here we go, open it up. There you go, Kadeen, let's buy Mark's books. Good idea, Kadeen. <laughs> Okay, here we go. And the worksheet is uh, short conversations, 10 very short conversations. And let me make it a little bit larger. Let's go a little bit larger, a little bit, a little bit. We can't go too big, then we can't see them. Okay, so we have number one, and the conversation is, how did you get so strong? I work out every day. Now, the pattern is, how did you? Example, example, how did you arrive? Number two, conversation two, say cheese. How do I look? Pattern, how do I? Example, how do I open this? Conversation number three. Oh, good, Harry. I'm happy to hear that. Conversation number three. I always wash my face before bed. I wash my hands before dinner. Pattern, I always. Example, I always have eggs for breakfast. Three, no, 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 four, four, four. Matsura, me too. I always make mistakes too. Me too. That's natural, Matsura. I also make lots of mistakes. It's, okay, that's interesting. Harry says, um, all right, two words, and one word, all right. The same. Um, the two words is um, better when you're writing. So, um, it's more formal. So, when you're writing, Harry, you should use the two words, but um, all right. And then one word or two words, right? They are the same. Number four, here we go. Conversation four. How would you like your hair? Just a trim, please. The pattern, how would you? Example, how would you like your coffee? Conversation number five. What should we do? Let me think about it. Pattern, what should we? Conversa uh, example, what should we have for, what should we have for lunch? Conversation number six, are you busy tomorrow? What's up? Pattern, are you? Example, are you ready to go? Conversation number seven, number seven, which do you prefer? I prefer tacos. Pattern, I prefer. Example, I prefer staying home. Conversation number eight. What's this? It's a picture of my mother. Pattern, it's. Example, it's my pet cat. Number nine. Open your eye. I'm trying. Pattern, open. Example, open the door, please. Okay, now in the chat, make sentences using the pattern. For example, number one, how did you? Number two, how do I? Number three, I always. Number four, how would you? Number five, what should we? Number six, are you? Number seven, I prefer. Number eight, it's. Number nine, open. Helga, here we go. How did you get so talented? How did you prepare for holiday? Yes. Okay, um, okay Helga, your second sentence, sentence, your second sentence, how did you prepare for the holiday? How about that? How did you prepare for the holiday? So we want a the there. 
Okay, S, I work out every day. Good. Air Lady, let's have lunch together. Good. Okay, Umesh, how did you get here? I followed the map. Good sentence. Yes, yes, yes. So we did this worksheet yesterday, and it's always good to practice because actually when the second time around, we make better sentences. The first time, maybe, you know, you're not exactly sure, or, you know, there's some difficulty, but I, I always see improvement the second time. Okay, Raman, uh, how did you get here so early? I, I took a taxi. Okay, Raman, I took a taxi. Good, good sentence. How did you get here so early? I took a taxi. I took a taxi. Kadeen, how did you arrive? I came by bus. Good, Carlos, how did you get to be bilingual? Watching Mark's video. Yes, good one, Carlos. As how did you get so energetic? Nice. You're welcome, Helga. Okay, Mercy. How did you get so thin? <laughs> I exercise every day. Marion, how did you become so rich? I work hard and save every cent. Lots, your sentences are great, everyone. Nice sentences. How did you finish your lessons? Good. Helga, how did you prepare for the holiday? Yes. Umesh, how do I, how do I look smart by going to a, oh, oh, okay. How, how did you look so beautiful? How did you look so beautiful by going to a salon? How did you look, how, 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 did you look so beautiful? How did you look so beautiful? So you look beautiful, and so how did you look so beautiful? So, so you can put that in the past tense, Umesh. S, uh, how did you get up? Or, okay, again, how did you get up so early in the morning? So you're like surprised, okay? So you, you're, you're wondering how this happened. So it's in the past. And so you want to say, how did you get up so early? That, that's the situation. Like you're, you're surprised about it and you're amazed. How did you get so thin? How did you get those big muscles? How did you run all that way? How did you get here so early? So you're, you're amazed. You're, you're surprised. Right? So, Marion, how did you become so rich? Right? Like, you're, you're, you're wondering, you're surprised. Okay, Hassan. Hassan, how, okay, what are you doing? Okay, what? Okay, last night, that's past tense. So, that should be, um, what did you do last night? Okay, Erlaid, how did you last week? Okay, now, there's no action there. there there's no, Erlaid, what happened last week? How did you get here last, or how did, so I need more information, Erlaid. Okay, Raman, how do I look in this dress? Good. Uh, Marion, how do I sing? You sing like an F to <laughs> Air Lady, um, how would you like your hairstyle? Good. We're actually styled. Okay, Air Lady. How would you like your hair styled? Helga, how do I remember all these things? Good. Hello, Lama. Okay, as how did you become so fluent in English? Um I am attending Mark Kulik's classes. Yes, Lama. Or yes, S. Good. Lama, hello. Good morning. Okay, S. S. Hello. Okay, Raman, I always listen to music whenever I feel sad. S. S. I can't. Oh, you can't hear my voice. That's. 
I don't know what happened to your computer. Carlos, which do you prefer? I prefer baseball. Umesh, I always run a marathon. I do yoga. Helga, I always have a coffee. I always have coffee for, okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, Helga, I always have coffee for breakfast. That's a good sentence. Marion, I always have soup for lunch. I love crouton soup. Or croton soup, I'm not sure. Marion, what that is, croton soup? Okay, Arts, how did you become a teacher? S, how would you like your hair? Just a smoothing. <laughs> how about just a trim or how would you like your hair? Uh, let's see, short on top, long in the back. <laughs> I don't know. Will, I'm doing good, thank you. Mercy, how would you like your eggs? Scrambled, please. So, Mercy, scrambled. We want that in the past tense there, E-D. Okay, ask which do you prefer? I prefer hot soup in winter. Kenin, how, how do you make this sauce? How did you make this sauce? It was delicious. So, so Kenin, how did? Because it's already made, right? And you drank it and you thought it was delicious. Okay, all right, uh, QT, let's drink beers and fish together. Lisa, hello, Lisa. Yeah, Lisa, we are reviewing the worksheet we did yesterday, so we got about another five minutes, and then we will change activities. So let's uh, do five more minutes reviewing the worksheet, and then we will uh, change activities, okay? So at 11 o'clock, we will change activities. So we will um, practice this worksheet for five more minutes and then we will change activities. Okay, Umesh, are you busy this evening? Yes, what's the matter? Marion, how would you like your drinking water? at room temperature, please. Yes, Marion, I always drink my water at room temperature. My family, they put the water in the refrigerator. They like cold water, but I do not like cold water. I like my water at room temperature. I like my water at room temperature. Okay, Raman, I can't make sense um, with how would you like. O okay, so um, Raman, that, that's a good question. So. We could, we could look at that right now. Um, so, so Raman has a question, like, how would you like? So Raman's having a um, difficult time using how would you like. And so there you're asking for another person's opinion. Okay, let me make the worksheet a little bit so people can still um, maybe... There we go. Okay. Ugh, you're not going to see it, huh? Well, I think this is good. L let's let's look over the best situation. You guys, um, download. Go to my Patreon. Support me there. You get all the worksheets. You can download them, and you have them in your house, and you can you can practice in your free time. So that's the best. Support me there on Patreon and get all the worksheets and it'll help you because you could um, practice on your own. Okay, so actually I wanna, um, that's a good question we had. Um, how would you like? And so that situation, you're asking for the other person's opinion, right? How would you like Okay, and so here, and, and, and this is often used in a restaurant because you're asking for um, the custor, customer's preference, what they prefer, right? And, and so how would you like your steak cooked, right? How would you like your um, sa salad made? How would you like your, and, and maybe there's choices. So how would you like your burger? How would you like your 
burger, right? Oh, I want cheese, tomatoes, onions. Okay, so how would you like your burger? How would you like your burger? Right? How would you like your pizza? So you're asking for the other person how they want it made. How would you like your pizza? Oh, green peppers and pepperoni, please, right? And so food, right? That's very common for food. In other situations, how would you like, um, let's see. Okay, let's say a hotel. You're staying in a hotel and the, the staff at the hotel asks you, how would you like your, your bed? Oh, uh, one pillow, please. <laughs> how would you like your room? Oh, um, I would like the, the table next to the window. So basically, preference. How would you like it done? How would you like it prepared? How would you like it um, how would you like, you know, the taste? And so you're asking the other person for their preference. How would they like it? Okay, so it's not easy. Um, room temperature. Yeah, how would you like your room? Oh, I want it warm or I want it cold. Your, the, the, the person's preference. So how would you like? You are asking for the other person's preference. Um, ask for their preference. Okay, and so, so right, how would you like it done? Let's see. Oh, Lisa likes Beckham hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was a long time ago. Beckham, like, right? So Beckham, like, almost like a a, a um, like like a mohawk. His hair was up in the up in the center. Okay, Marin. Um, okay, are you ready to order? Yes, we are. Okay, how would you like your burger? Right? I want I want it. I want cheese, tomato, and onion with mustard. Uh, Mercy, how would you like your steak? Well done, please. Oh, thank you. Lisa likes my sweater. Thank you very much, Lisa. Oh, oh, okay, S says, okay, how would you like your burger, S? Uh, with cheese. How would you like your burger? With cheese. Air Lady, which do you prefer? I prefer chicken noodle soup. That's good. Okay. Oh, you all. Hello, you all. Uh, how do? How did you? How did you become happy? Okay, you all. How did you become happy? Mary, which do you prefer? I prefer white sugar. What's okay? Air lady, open your mouth, please. I'm trying. Okay. Good. 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 Um. Okay. Okay. Ramen. Um, how would you like your wedding dress? Yeah. So l let's say, you know, so the, the wedding dresses are, you know, maybe the, the tailor, you know, do you want it a little high? Do you want it a little low? You want this, the sleeves a little long, a little short? So how would you like your wedding dress, right? And so um, you're asking for the per preference, right? Oh, I want my, I want the sleeves long. I want the dress a little short. Right, and so everyone has their own preference. Everyone has their own um, likes. Everyone has their own tastes, right? Okay, good, good, good. Air Lady says, what's this? It's a computer, Lisa, how would you like your date? <laughs> how would you like your date? Oh, I want a handsome man. Yes, Lisa says, I want a handsome man. Okay, Marian, good morning, friends. Hi, are you awake? Good. Helga, I prefer tea in the evening. Good. Okay, let's switch activities. It's time. 
it's time. So let's say goodbye to the worksheet. We did it yesterday, so if you want, and yesterday we did, uh, we watched a video and did the worksheet yesterday. And so there's a video that goes with this worksheet. So if you want to check out the video and more of the worksheet, more practice with the worksheet, check out yesterday's live stream. Yesterday. No, it wasn't yesterday, it was Wednesday, sorry. It was December 28th. It was Wednesday. So check out Wednesday's video if you want more practice for this. And of course, on my Patreon, all the worksheets we do in the live stream class are right there. Support me there and get the worksheets. Okay, Harry says, um, how would you like your steak cooked? How would you like your steak? Is verb three cooked optional? Okay, um, let's see, how would, yeah, so exactly, Harry. So you don't have to say cooked because the, the, um, the um, intent, not the intention, but the, so your the situation, right? We know we're at a restaurant. You order a steak, and the and the sh and, and the waiter or waitress asks, you, "How would you like your steak?" So that "How would you like your steak?" is is um, means cooked. Okay, you can say cooked. How would you like your steak cooked? or how would you like your steak? And so when you leave off cooked, but we know it means cooked. So that's a good question. So you don't have to say cooked because the, the um, how can I say this? The situation means cooked. <laughs> how, would you like your, how would you like your steak? And so you're in a restaurant, you order a steak, and the, the, the server says, how would you like your cook? How would you like your steak? That means, how would you like it cooked? So in the, in the sentence, it means, how would you like your steak cooked? <laughs> okay, we're going, here we go. Yeah, okay, Lisa, good. Okay, let's, let's change activities here. Okay, good. All right, now, uh, all right. Now let's do the grammar wheel, everyone. We haven't done this in a long time. So our next activity is the grammar wheel. We haven't done this for a long time. And right here, and our grammar wheel, there, there are conjunctions here, okay? And so we have nor, or, but, there's my face right in the middle. No, I want, I don't want my nose in the middle. <laughs> Get my face out. Okay, but, one more time. Okay, we got for, nor, or, but, and, so, because, yet, for, nor, so we're going to spin the grammar wheel, and then which one it lands on, you're going to make sentences based on the conjunction, the word, right? And so conjunctions connect two sentences together, so they make complex sentences. So we're going to make some complex sentences. I need to get a magnet from over here so we can spin the wheel. Okay, here it is. Right there, there's the magnets and there's the grammar wheel. And so our, this is activity number, wait, we, wait, number four. I didn't write number three. Number three was the worksheet. Number three was 10 very short conversations. Number five, that's a bad five. Let's do it again. Number five, that was a worksheet. Okay, and then here we go, number four, and that's the grammar wheel. 
We haven't done that for a while. Okay, and then we're doing um, the topic is um, is um, conjunctions. Conjunctions and connectors, right? So, for example, um, okay, here, like, or. Do you like pizza or would you like pizza or uh, would you like pizza or pasta? Okay, so a choice. Pizza or pasta. Okay, so here you're asking for a choice, but that is a you're connecting a positive and a negative. For example, I like pizza, but I don't like pasta. And you're connecting two positives or two negatives. For example, I don't like pizza and pasta, or I like pizza and pasta. So that's conclusion. I like pizza, so I like pasta. <laughs> because you're given a reason, I like pizza because it tastes delicious. So you're given a reason. Yet, um, that means, um, let, let's see, I've, yet, yet, Oh, okay, like, nevertheless, nevertheless. So, um, I like pizza, yet pasta doesn't taste so good. <laughs> so, um, nevertheless, so, so, so I like pizza, yet um, I don't like, oh, wait, wait, that, that's kind of yet, hold on. Let me explain. I want to. I want to explain this. At I want to explain this better. Okay. Oh, at the same time, that's better. So we, we think maybe pizza and pasta are similar, and, and so at the same time. So I like pizza, yet I don't like pasta. Right. So you would think if you like pizza, you must like pasta. Right. And 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 um, so yet means at the same time where we would think, of course, I like pizza and pasta, but if you use yet, that kind of uh, negates it. So at the same time, I like pizza, but I don't like pasta. So um, I like pizza, yet I don't like pasta. And then for, that means uh, because or as, okay, um, I like pizza for its creamy and or I like pizza for it is um, smooth and tasty so it's more formal than because so for is more formal than because nor is used after a negative so for example um, okay that was neither cheap nor convenient. That was neither cheap nor convenient. So we're using nor after a negative. That was neither cheap or convenient. Okay, so let's do it, yeah? Okay, so we got our grammar wheel. And I have to do an arrow here so we know which one. Okay, so we got an arrow there, and so I'm going to spin the wheel, and then which one it stops on, you're going to write sentences using the conjunction, okay? Here we go. Let's spin the wheel. Where it stops, no one knows. Let's see. I think it's right in the middle. Uh-oh, it's right in the middle. We got to do it one more time. It's right right there on the line, so we got to do it again. Oh, that's a good spin. But, okay, it's but. So, please use a, use but in a sentence. But. 
Okay, so you're connecting a positive and a negative. Okay, with but, you are connecting a positive and a negative. So for example, I like pizza, but I don't like pasta. Okay, so it's a, it's a, it's a positive and a negative or a negative and a positive. Lisa, everything is good but the weather. Nice one, nice one. So everything is good, that's positive, and then but the weather. So the weather, so but the weather means it's, it's bad weather, right? So it's good, everything's good, the food is good, the, the music is good, but the weather is, is terrible. It's raining outside, it's cold, so everything is good, but the weather. Nice, Lisa, I like it. Helga, it was really right in the middle. It was. <laughs> It's true. You saw that, right? <laughs> it's right on the line. That's, that's funny how that happens. It was a perfect storm. <laughs> so that expression, a perfect storm, meaning everything lined up in a kind of a, 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 in a negative way. Okay, here we go, Samuel. I like beer, but I don't like vodka. Air lady, I don't like meat, but I like seafood. Nice. Alice, I like uh, Macau, but I stay in Australia now. Or live. Oh, okay, Alice, I lived in Macau, but now I live in Australia. I lived in Macau, but... I now live in Australia. Helga, I like coffee, but I, but it is not good for my health. I like coffee, but it's not good for my health. I think it's good for your health. I drink it every day. I'm healthy. I think it's good. I disagree, Helga. <laughs> I disagree. I think it's good for your health. Let's see, Umesh, I like driving, but I don't like walking. I'm the opposite, Umesh. I like walking, but I don't like driving. Marin, I would, I would buy an ice cream cake, but I don't have that much money. Marion, here in Japan, ice cream cakes are very expensive. In Japan, ice cream cakes are expensive. And it's hard to find them. You have to go to like Baskin Robbins. And they are expensive. Okay, Harry. This car is so expensive, but it looks great. Or this car is expensive, but it looks great. Though it looks great. How about, okay, you want to use though? Okay, here we go, Harry. You want to use though. This car is expensive, but it looks, but it, though it, though it looks great. The car is expensive, though it looks, so though kind of you, but it means the same. Okay, Harry, so though and but in your situation is the same. So we can't, you can't use though. The car is expensive, but it looks great. Carlos, I like nice cars, but they are expensive. Good, Carlos. Umesh, I like English, but I don't like Hindi. I know about this, but I don't... Okay, okay. I know about this, but I can't tell you, okay, how to learn English. I know about this, but I can't tell you. Alice, I live in Macau, but I stay in Australia now. Oh, okay, that works. Okay, but I'm staying in Australia now. So, okay, Alice, we need one more, one more time, Alice. Here we go. I live in Macau, but I am staying in Australia now. But I am staying in Australia now. Okay, Umesh, I like tomatoes, but I don't like ketchup. Okay, Sylvia. I like mushrooms, but I don't like butter. Arts. I love 
teacher mark, but I don't like another teacher. It's okay. <laughs> thank you. you. Thank you for supporting me, Arts. I appreciate that. Kadeen, I like burger, but I prefer pizza. I like burgers, but I prefer pizza. Okay, good. Okay, we just need um, the S on burgers. Okay, Kadeen, I like it. I like burgers, but I prefer pizza. That's good. Yeah, me too. Like you like both, but you 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 like pizza more. So I I, I don't know, Katie. It's hard for me to. I like them both equally. So that would be hard. I guess it would depend on the pizza and the burger, right? So a good pizza, you can't beat a good pizza. But you could say the same thing about a good burger. You can't beat a good burger. I don't know. That's a hard decision. That's hard to decide. Matsura, I like hamburgers, chips, but they are junk food. Good, Matsura. Saima, I like English, but I don't like mate. I'm not sure what that means. Lisa, it's, it's a nice, okay. Um, okay, H how about this, Lisa? Clothes, okay, so I, I want you to be more specific. So like, I like this shirt, but it's expensive. I like this sweater, but it's expensive. I like this, um, this dress, but it's expensive. Hello, Will, you're very welcome. Let's see, Alice, I live in Macau, but I am staying in Australia now. Perfect. Good, Lisa, or I mean, Alice, good, Alice. Harry, this car is expensive, but it looks great. This car is expensive. It looks great, though. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, so in your situation, but and though mean the same. This car is expensive, but it looks great. This car is expensive. It looks great, though. Okay. Okay, Lisa, I speak Japanese, but... Okay, what about English? But I can't speak English? Or about I speak Japanese, but a little English? I speak Japanese, but I don't speak English very well. So, but is, is a positive and a negative. Okay, let's do one more. I'm looking at the clock we're going to do one more on the grammar wheel okay we're going to spin the wheel we're going to do one more conjunction all right so here we go we're going to spin the wheel do one more and oh that was a bad one and that was but again okay see so i have to be careful because the magnets will move so i i can't just spin it with all my strength i have to spin it carefully so here we go. I'm going to spin it carefully. Okay. Uh, yet. Okay. This is going to be, this is a tough one. Yet. Yet. Here we go. Yet. That means nevertheless. Nevertheless. So, oh, nevertheless. Or, oh, wait, wait, wait. And it, at the same time. That's better. At the same time. Okay, so again, okay, at the same time. So for example, pizza and pasta. So I like pizza and pasta. Okay? So they're I'm they're equal yet. So I like pizza yet. Pasta doesn't agree with me. All right, and so I like them both, but you know, pasta is a little different. <laughs> um, it's oh, oh, this one's good. It's raining, yet the sun is shining. Okay, I think that's a better example. It's raining, okay, so we. It's raining. We all experience rain, right? 
it's, it's raining, yet, okay, so most of our, <clears throat> most of the, the, the time when it's raining, it's cloudy, right? It, it's kind of dark. It's, the, the, the clouds are in the sky, the rain is coming down, it's raining, yet, at the same time, yet, it's raining, yet, the sun is shining. So that's strange. The sun is shining. It's raining, yet the sun is shining. So at the same time, it's raining, yet the sun is shining. Okay, so we're using it as a conjunction. So it's in the middle, right? It's in the middle. It's raining, yet the sun is shining. So, so yet is in the middle of the sentence, okay? So, um, Air Lady, you're, you're using yet correctly, but, but it's, a, it's a different meaning in your situation, Air Lady. I am not ready to go to the party yet. So, that means, you know, at this time, right? So, you're using yet at this time, but we're using yet here at the same time. So at the same time, it's raining yet, the sun is shining. So, so, okay, Lisa, I am tired yet, I study hard. Good one. Okay, so look at, okay, Umesh, uh, he got hurt yet, he, is wa he was walking yes, yes, okay? So Umesh and Lisa, their sentences yet is in the center, in the middle, and they did it correctly. He got hurt, yet he was walking. That's what they do, right? In football, in soccer, they're like, ah, I can't, I can't move, you know, foul, foul. But then they get up and start running around. So they fake their injuries. Lisa, I am tired yet. I study hard, that's great. Yeah, this is difficult. Yet is not easy. So the, there's you can't. But's very easy. And is very easy. So is very easy. Yet is not easy. It's harder to think of examples, right? For yet, it's more difficult to think of examples. Okay, Harry, I am full, yet I still want to have a snack. Good one, Harry, good one. I am full, yet I still want to have a snack. So at the same time, right, I'm full, yet I want a snack. That happens to me, right? Like, uh, I just had dinner, I'm full, yet I want something sweet. I want chocolate. Oh, um, my next... Online classes tomorrow. I will be here tomorrow, everyone. Tomorrow. This time tomorrow. Here in Japan, it's Friday. And I will be here tomorrow, the 31st. Okay, Helga says... Oh, okay, wait, Mercy. I am fish, finishing, yet you are coming... Oh, okay, I am not finished, yet you are coming. Or, right? Okay, not yet. That We're not using in that situation. This situation. In the middle of your sentence. In the middle. Helga, the sun is shining yet. It is cold. Good. So, yet is in the middle. It's a conjunction. It has to connect to... To... Um, to subjects, right? It's raining, yet the sun is shining. Okay. Okay, Umesh. He has no money, yet he drinks wine. Good. I like it. 
Sylvia, I'm not yet finished, but I'm still writing, please. Okay, no, that doesn't work. Um, okay, Sylvia, I have finished the story, yet I'm still writing. <laughs> okay, that's good, right? Okay, Sylvia, I am, I am finished writing the story, yet I am still writing. There you go, Umesh. He is poor, yet he donates money to charities. Good one, Umesh. He is poor, yet he donates money to charities. I like it. Very nice. Oh, good, 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 Sam. Eric is intelligent, yet he failed her exams. Good, good, good. QT, I'm studying, yet I'm so... No. Nah. Uh, okay, QT, I am, I am, I have started studying English yet. No, that doesn't, no QT, that doesn't work. Okay, okay, um, how to learn English. He is weak, yet he can pick up that heavy table or something. He is weak, yet he can pick up the heavy chair or something like that. Okay, good air lady. The, the weather is cold, yet it's bright and sunny. Good, good, good. Okay, one more time, air lady. The weather, the weather is cold, yet it is bright and sunny. Okay, Lisa, I went to party. Wait, I don't like parties, yet I went. Nice, Lisa. I don't like parties, yet I went. Very good. Samuel, I'm sleepy, yet I have to see live stream class. <laughs> good, good. I am sleepy, yet I have to see Mark's live stream class. Good, Samuel. Yeah, Carlos, it's difficult. So, yet, you're using yet, um, when, when um, two things are contradictory at the same time. Like, like, for example, it's raining, yet the sun is shining. So you wouldn't think that is possible. So yet connects two um, ideas that don't match. That's, that's good. So yet connects two ideas that do not match. Right? So raining does not match sun shining, right? We don't think it matches, but sometimes it does. So, um, um, I don't like parties, yet I, I, I'm going. It doesn't match, right? We don't think it matches, but so we, f for two things that don't necessarily match, use yet. Like, um, okay, Cinderella. You know the story of Cinderella. She, she is poor with, she is poor with tattered toe, with tattered clothes, yet the prince wants to marry her. Cinderella, right? She has, she is poor, she is dirty, her clothes are torn, yet the prince wants to marry her. <laughs> so it doesn't match, right? So we use yet. So it doesn't match. Cinderella is poor. Cinderella has dirty clothes. Cinderella is sad. <laughs> yet the prince wants to marry her. Helga, I'm sleepy, yet I'm very interested in learning English with Mark. Yes. Okay, so. I'm sleepy yet, I want to stay up and watch. So it doesn't match, so use yet. The weather was cold, yet sunny and bright. Good, good, air lady. Okay. Um, Umesh, I like his height, yet I don't like his speed. There you go, Katie. I like it, Katie. Studying English is hard, yet I am still standing. Good, good, yeah, Katie. You're, there, you used it perfect. That was perfect, Katie. 
Studying, studying English is hard, yet I am still standing. I like it. You did it. That was good. Okay, Carlos, here we go. Carlos says, let me try. My car doesn't run yet. It, no, Carlos, <laughs> sorry, sorry. You have to use it in the sentence. Okay, so um, how about this? My car is old, yet it runs perfectly. There we go. Okay, Carlos, my car is old yet it runs perfectly. My car is old, but it runs perfectly. Okay, TDM. She bought a new dress. Okay, but she hasn't worn it yet. Okay, yet we're using in the center, in the middle. Your sentence is TDM. You have a correct sentence, but you're not using it as a conjunction. So conjunctions add two ideas together, two ideas. It's raining, the sun is shining, and we put it together. And yet, for, for two things that do not match, we use yet. Yes, 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 Harry. So, ba yeah, it's, it's hard. So think of two things that don't go together, right? Two things that we normally don't think go together. Two things that we normally don't think go together. Two things that don't match. Uh, you all know, I like cat yet scr no. Um, okay, for you all, like we can, okay, so for example, cats and what they do, they scratch, right? And, and so I don't like scratching, yet I have a cat. Or like, okay, um, okay, let's say, okay, cats scratch sofas, right? We don't like cats when they scratch a sofa, right? And so you might say, oh, I like beautiful furniture, right? So cats scratch sofas, right? They scratch furniture. So you, you can say, I like furniture, yet I have a cat, right? So you, you, if, if, you, if you love furniture and you have expensive, okay, how about I have expensive furniture. You have an expensive sofa. You have expensive pillows, right? You have expensive carpet, yet you have a cat, right? Cats, are scra they scratch sofas, they scratch pillows, they scratch carpets, right? And so you have expensive furniture, yet you have a cat. Right? So you don't think they go together, right? Because if you have, you don't want a cat to scratch your expensive furniture. You don't want a cat to scratch your sofa. So why do you have a cat? So they don't match. I like expensive furniture, yet I have a cat. I don't like, no, no. I have expensive furniture. I have an expensive sofa, yet I have a cat. Okay, DM, TDM, thank you, TDM. Welcome, welcome. Your first time here? You've been here before. I, I, I think I rec recognize your name. Okay. There you, okay, how to learn English, I like it. He is very old, yet he is very energetic. Yes. Ah, ha, ha, good, Lisa. I think many people do that, Lisa. I never win the lottery, yet I keep buying tickets. How about, okay, Lisa, here we go. I never win the lottery. I never win the lottery, yet 
I keep buying tickets. <laughs> I think many people do that. I have never won the lottery yet. I keep buying the tickets. Harry, it is summer, yet it is very cold. That works. Good, 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 good. I like it. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, TDM, welcome, welcome. Okay, well, I'm looking at the clock. We got to change activities, okay? We got to change activities. Um, that was the grammar wheel. Good job. I, I thought, you know, at the beginning, yeah, it was difficult, but we got it. I think we got it. We, we worked through it. We, we, we did our best, and I think we, we'll do it again. I think we need to practice more yet, but I saw a lot of good sentences, yet sentences. So I saw many of your good yet sentences. So I think most of us, we, we're getting, we're working it through. We're, you know, it, it, it's, it's hard to, to grasp the whole thing, but the more examples we do, the better we understand. So the more examples we see, the better we understand, okay? So let's go ahead to our fifth activity and that is uh, an idiom. Our next activity is an idiom. That is number five. Yes, number five. Let's go here. Number five, idiom is get out. Get out. And that means to leave. Okay. And we have examples from the green team. Yes, they wrote, the green team, they wrote sentences using get out. So let's look at their sentences and then you will make your own sentences. All right, so let's look at the um, examples. There we go. And again, this worksheet is on my Patreon. Okay, here we go. Get out. Get out. Okay, so we got examples from the green team. Get out means to leave. Marion sentence. Get out and enjoy this first snowfall. Get out and enjoy the first snowfall. I like it. Lolly. Hi, Joe and Sue. Don't get out of Mark's live stream early, please. Hi, Joe and Sue. Don't get out of Mark's live streams early, please. <laughs> Air Lady. I told him to get out. I told him to get out. Miley Sentence. In Florida, it's never this cold. Cover up. We're lucky we got out alive. In Florida, it's never this cold. Cover up. We're lucky we got out alive. Mary sentence. If you don't like the small, the, one more time. If you don't like the smell of onion pie, you can get out of the kitchen. <laughs> if you don't like the smell of onion pie, you can get out of the kitchen. Candy. Rapunzel used her own hair. No, no, no. Ah, one more time. Rapunzel used her own long hair as a rope. Finally, she was able to get out of the castle. Rapunzel used her long hair as rope. Finally, she was able to get out of the castle. I'm going to read it one more time. I've been not reading her sentence very well. Sorry, Candy. One more time. Rapunzel used her own long hair as a rope. Finally, she was able to get out of the castle. Okay, Ava. Every Tuesday, I have to get out from Mark's live stream early because I have to go to work. Every Tuesday, I have to get out of Mark's live stream early because I have to go to work. Raj, my daughter has come home from abroad, 
So I have to get out from Mark Kulik's live stream class for a few days. My daughter has come home from abroad, so I have to get out from Mark Kulik's live stream class a few for a few days. Okay, so there we go. Okay, you all, good, good. I don't like medicine yet. I take it. Okay, you all, good. I don't like medicine yet. I take it. Okay, Lisa, it's dangerous here. Let's get out. Good, 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 good sentence. And down here in the, the worksheet, we have examples on the top, and then on the bottom, you write your own sentences. That's how the worksheet works. That's how we do the worksheet. Okay, we got sentences. Oh, okay, TDM. I never have been to the cinema yet. I keep thinking about it. Okay, good, yeah. Okay, one more time, TDM. I, I have never been to the cinema. I have never been to the cinema yet. I keep thinking about it. Good, TDM. Okay, get out. I want to see get out sentences now. Okay, Lisa, it's dangerous. It's dangerous here. Let's get out. Good. Okay, TDM, get out from here. I don't want to see you here. Okay. You're welcome, Marion. That was a, that's good. Good sentence. Get out and enjoy the outdoors. Okay, Lisa, it's dangerous here. Let's get out immediately. Okay, Raman, could you please get out? I want to be alone. Good, Harry. Let's get out of here and have a walk. I like it. <laughs> okay, how about this? TDM, I got, so past tense. I got out from my math class because I want to watch Mark's live stream. Nice. Oh, good, air lady. The teacher screamed at him, get out! Marion, get out of my house! Cece! Mwah! Cece's here, good. I'm happy to see you, Cece. How are you doing? Ah, oh, Alice, can... Okay, how about this, Alice? Can I get out early tomorrow? Can I get out early tomorrow? Umesh, get out from here. There is a shark coming. Good. Okay, gosh. Get out. Enjoy the first snowfall. Yes. Okay, Raman. Sometimes my dog sits in the car, so I usually tell... I tell my dog to get out of the car. Kayleen, let's get out of here and find a safe place. Good. Helga, let's get out and try to meet Santa. Okay, Hannah, uh, I came home yet my mom. Okay, I came home yet my mom. Okay, Hannah, I don't understand. So. One more time for your yet sentence. Y yeah, I got out of school. I got out for school yesterday. Okay, I got out. I got out of school yesterday. I got I got out of school yesterday. Okay, Keita, I've I've just gotten out from my girlfriend's house. Lisa. The cat ran away outside. Let's get out to catch it. Or 
the cat ran away, or let's see, the cat got out. Let's let's get it. <laughs> How about that, Lisa? We can make it we can make it simpler. The cat got out. Let's get it. <laughs> the cat got out. Let's get it. The cat got out. Let's get it. Okay, Marion. Uh, do you want to get out? How about, okay, do you want to get out of here? Do you want to get out of here? QT, get out from my life. I am so tired. Alice, I get out tomorrow. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, Cam. Can I get out tomorrow? Good. Can I get out tomorrow? Okay, CC says, I'm good. Thank you. That's good, CC. Ramen, get out of my room. You are making a mess. Okay, Ramen, get out of my room. You are making a mess everywhere. You are making a mess everywhere. Umesh, can't you get out from here? There is no place for two people. <laughs> or it's, it, it's too small for two people. Can you get out? It's too small for two people. Can you get out? It's too small for two people. Okay, TDM. Mark, get out from the office. It's prayer time. Katie, let's get out from here and find a safe place. Alice, let's get out and have dinner together. Good. Mercy, let's get out to see the moon. Harry, get out. Don't just waste your time playing phone or, or playing um, video games. Get out. Don't waste time. Or wait, wait, wait. Get out. Don't just waste time playing video games. Get out. Don't just waste time playing video games. I agree. Samuel. Get out of my way during, uh oh, get out of the way. I'm watching TV. <laughs> That's right, Samuel. Get out of my way. I'm watching TV. Get out of my way. I'm watching TV. Umesh, the dog got out and the cat came in. <laughs> That's good. The, the dog got out and the cat came in. Lisa, the cat got out. Let's get it. Good. Oh, Marion, I left the door open and the cat got out. Hey, Raj. Hello. I went to the movies, but I got bored, so I got out from there. Good. Yes, Lisa, or Raj. Good sentence, Raj. Oh, Lisa. Mark got out of the car and closed the door. Closed the door. Umesh, uh, can you get out? It's too small for two people. Yes. Alice, I would like to get out of this cave as there is a large bear. Yes, get out. Okay, Raj. You get out from my farmhouse. You are wasting your time here. Okay, good, good, Raj. Helga, I have a young pigeon. I can't let it get out. I see you yet. Yeah. yeah, it's one out. Yep. Yeah. We got, we're here two hours. We're here on, we're here for two hours. Okay, Mercy, my cat gets out every night. My cat gets out every night. Hello, Raj, how are you? Okay. I'm looking at the clock. Let's check out the poll, shall we? Let's have a look. I didn't forget the poll. I always forget the poll, but I didn't forget today. <laughs> I didn't forget today. Now, um, this worksheet is on my Patreon page. Support me on my Patreon, get the worksheets we do in the live stream class. Lots of practice for you. 
help me so I can help you, help me so I can help you. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's do the poll, shall we? Let's do it, let's do it. So, in the chat, on the top of the chat, there's a blue box. Let's open it up. All right, 133 people voted. Mwah. Thank you everyone for doing that. And here is the, the pattern in the, in the poll. I'm gonna, uh, my, the board is full, huh? So, oh, right here, we can, we can do it here. We can do it right here. So the, the sentence, it's too, mm, let's get out of here. So that's the, that's the sentence. It's to let's get out of here. Okay, so that's the, that's the sentence. Okay, it's to, and then our choices, right? Your choices. Noisy, crowded, expensive, and then something else. So you make your own, you have your own idea, okay? So it's too noisy, let's get out of here. It's too crowded, let's get out of here. It's too expensive, let's get out of here. And so you choose which one you like, maybe which one you agree with, and then First choice, the number one, the most popular choice, noisy, ah, it's too noisy. Let's get out of here. So for example, maybe you're at a restaurant, you're at a, a pub, you're, you're at a, a, a concert, something, right? You're somewhere and it's too noisy. Let's get out of here. 41% of you said, it's too noisy. Let's get out of here. Then 36% of you said, it's too crowded. Let's get out of here. So maybe you're at a shopping mall. Oh, too many people. It's too crowded. Let's get out of here. Or you're at a um, event. Too many people. It's too crowded. Let's get out of here. 36% said it's too crowded. It's too expensive. Let's get out of here. So maybe you walk into a restaurant. You open the menu. You go, oh my God, it's too expensive. Let's get out of here. Or um, you're at a, you know, a, a festival and everything is too expensive. Let's, it's too expensive. Let's get out of here. 14% of you said it's too expensive. Let's get out of here. And then um, something else. So 9% of you had something else. So um, let's see. Your sentences. It's too. Mm, let's get out of here. Let's see. Okay, TDM, it's too crowded. Let's get out of here. Umesh, it's too crowded. Let's get out. Let's get out of here. Oh, there's too much traffic on the road. Let's get out of here. Mercy, it's too dirty. Let's get out of here. Oh, that's a good one. Raj, it's too crowded. Let's get out of here. Okay, uh, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here because I don't like, it's, it's better to say it's too noisy. Let's get out of here. That's, a, that's how to learn English. That, that's simpler, that's better. It's too noisy. Let's get out of here. Oh, okay, it's too full. Let's get out of here. So like, that means crowded. Like it's too full. Let's get out of here. That means crowded. Okay, Raj, it's, it's too boring. Let's get out. Okay, so not too bo boring. Okay, I like it. So boring. So maybe you're at an a, uh, event, you're at a concert, you're um, at a, you know, a convention, you're at a, someone's talking, someone's speaking. Oh, it's too boring. Let's get out of here. Good, Raj. It's too boring.
Yeah, so I understand what you're saying, how to, but the, the sentence is too, it, it, it's not smooth. It's not a smooth sentence. It's not a smooth thought. So you, we want to keep things simple, right? So you want, you want to keep it simple in this situation. Oh, Marion, it's too dark. Let's get out of here. You're scared. <laughs> You're a little scared. Oh, it's scary. Let's get out of here. <laughs> it's too scary. Let's get out of here. Oh, okay, Umesh, it's too filthy. Let's get out of here. I like it. Like a restaurant. You go in and, and you know, the tables are dirty. The seats are dirty. Oh, it's too filthy. Let's get out of here. TDM. Oh, it's awful. Let's get out of here. That works. Oh, Zoa. It's too dangerous. Let's get out of here. Yeah. There you go, Raj. It's too boring. Let's get out of here. Good, 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 good. Oh, oh, it's too much thunder. Okay, there is. Okay, so thunder is, is we use that in the plural. Okay, so uh, there's thunder. Let's get out of here. <laughs> it's, or you could, it's thundering. You could say that. It's thundering, not two. You wouldn't want to use two. You could say, it's thundering. Let's get out of here. I like it. Yeah. It's thundering. Let's get out of here. Oh, Maria. It's too smelly. Let's get out of here. I like it. It's too smelly. Let's get out of here. I like that. Maria, nice one. Yeah, Mercy. It's too boring. Let's get out of here. Boring. It's too boring. So you can look at Raj, green team Raj. She has boring. That's a good one. Okay, Samuel, it's too hot. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Or it's too cold. Let's get out of here. Good, good, good. It's, yeah, Lisa, it's too humid. Let's get out of here. Gifu, where I live, Lisa, super humid in the summer. Oh, boy. I want to get out of here in the summer. <laughs> I, want, I want to go to California in the summer because here it's too humid. Mmm. TDM, your house is dirty. Let's get out of here. <laughs> your house is too dirty. Let's get out of here. There you go, Umesh. It's thundering. Let's get out of here. Okay. Yeah, there you go, Mercy. It's too boring. Let's get out of here. Okay, good. Well, I'm looking at the clock. We are here two hours. It's time to go, everyone. Um, Thank you so much, everyone, for your kind, kind support. Mwah, I really appreciate it. You guys are very kind. And remember, um, if, you, if you like my videos, if you like being here, please join the green team. Yeah, your name will be in green. You'll be part of a, a, a friendly group of members. They support me. And um, if you like my videos, if you like my live stream classes, join the green team, your name will be in green, you will be part of the special team, yes, yes, yes. So please join my channel. Also, for worksheets that we do in the live stream classes, you go to my Patreon, support me there, get all the worksheets we do in the live stream classes. Yeah, so you have lots of, there are many, 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 many worksheets here. So please um, do that. Also, I have books at Amazon.com. There are four books. And um, there are links there. Get, get your book. Go to Amazon. Check out my books. People like them. So check those out. And I will be here tomorrow, everyone. This time tomorrow. Uh, actually, the uh, New Year's Eve but in the morning, <laughs> not, not, not the Eve, but, but New Year or the, the uh, 31st. So New Year's Eve is, is the evening, right? New Year's evening, we say New Year's Eve, but I will be here in New Year uh, morning, <laughs> the 31st, 10 a.m. Japan time. So I will be here. 
December 31st at 10 a.m. Japan time. So it'll be the last class of 2022. Okay, so um, if you can, please come here tomorrow at this time, 10 a.m. And we will have our last class in 2022. Yes, so um, join me for our last class in 2022. Yes, and um, anyways, everyone smile, be safe, stay healthy, peace and love. And if you can't be here tomorrow, have a happy new year. I hope 2023 will be good for you. And um, if, if you can come tomorrow, I will see you tomorrow. If not, have a great new year. Yes, have a great new year. Love and peace to you and your family. Yes, yes, that's very, very important. Health. And when you smile, I always say smile because when you smile, you're happy. You have to be happy. <laughs> you have no choice. And so when you're happy, that means you're healthy and... Um, and then you, when you smile, you make other people smile, yeah? And so you pass it on. You pass on the happiness, happiness to other people. And so that is a good thing to do. That is a good thing to do. So um, I hope to see you tomorrow. We'll be here for like one hour. So today we're here for two hours. But tomorrow we'll be here for one hour. We'll do a worksheet. Yeah, we'll probably do a worksheet and watch a video tomorrow. So... Please come back tomorrow. We'll be here for one hour tomorrow. Today was two hours, but tomorrow will be one hour. So if you can, come by and see me. Let's say Happy New Year together tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so um, until tomorrow, peace and love. Smile, be healthy, stay safe. Let's count down together, all right? So here we go. It's time to count down until tomorrow. Oh, um, the morning of New Year's Eve. Yeah, Helga, thank you. That's a good way to say it. The morning of New Year's Eve. So if I said New Year's Eve, that is in the evening, right? But it's going to be in the morning. So the morning of New Year's Eve. I like it, Helga, thank you. Please join me. The morning of New Year's Eve. Please join me the morning of New Year's Eve. You all, thank you for being a Green Team member. Harry, thank you. Raj, thank you. Thank you, all the Green Team members. I really, really appreciate it. And you, please, let's, it would be, everybody should be green. Yes, let's have the whole chat in green. That would be fantastic. <laughs> okay, good. Well, um, oh, uh, Tanha, Tanya, Tanya, or, Zainab, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Thank you, uh, Zainab, Zainab. Okay, tomorrow, I'll be here tomorrow. So please, come, come back tomorrow, come back tomorrow. Thank you, Helga, thank you, Alice. Thank you, everyone. Z Z uh, Zainab, we are finished. We are here two hours before. We were here two hours ago, we were here two hours ago. So I will be here tomorrow, December 31st, 10 a.m. Japan time. Okay, so please come two hours before now <laughs> and um, we will have a class together. Okay, let's count down to saying goodbye. Yep, here we go. Let's do it. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. Please be safe, smile, stay healthy, peace and love. Please come back tomorrow. We will say Happy New Year. Well, we will wish each other a Happy New Year tomorrow, okay? But if you can't come tomorrow, have a Happy New Year. I hope 2023 will be um, good for you. I hope there will be lots of um, good things for you in 2023, okay? So until tomorrow, take it easy. Bye. Thank you.